don't really know what to do. I've not done a YouTube video on makeup before, so here we are. This will be interesting. I'm so glad I rehearsed this. <laughs> Oh, let's zoom you out. That's a little bit close, isn't it? Bye-bye. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I sound like an absolute frog slash man today because I've got a sore throat and a bit of a cold. However, I wanted to do a video today because I'm getting ready for a Christmas party later this evening. And I just thought I'd show you my little look that I'm going for. Um, why did I just sound Australian? <laughs> At the moment, my hair's straight, which is something I never do because I'm gonna teach you today how to channel your inner Ariana Grande. I am obsessed with her. I've been watching so many documentaries about her that I ordered a ponytail online, so I'm gonna demo it for you right here, right now, with a makeup look to go with it. And just a little disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not trying to be a makeup artist. However, I wear makeup and I thought I could just kind of show you what I do. It's not gonna be anything groundbreaking, but it is gonna be my go-to going out makeup. Shall we begin? Oh, another thing, I recently turned vegan at the beginning of this year. Some of the products I'm using today sadly aren't vegan or cruelty free because I've had them for so long and I'm just gonna use them up before I throw them away because I think it'll be more wasteful to throw them away than, than to just not use them up. I'm also really nervous because I've never done my makeup on camera before so let's see how that goes. Let's go. So I'm starting with a makeup primer by Arbonne which is cruelty free and vegan. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a pump on there and just massage it into my face. Um, I also haven't moisturized, which I probably should have done, but oh well. I hope there's no makeup artists watching this, like you're doing it wrong. Next, I'm gonna be using the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, little squelchy squelch there. I use this every day, so under all my makeup. Gives you a really nice natural glow. Also, you can see my outfit behind me. It's like really extra and red. So I thought I'd go really extra with my makeup. And so like I said, I'm going for the Ariana Grande look because I'm obsessed with her. She's announcing tour dates this weekend and I'm buzzing. Next. Thank you. Next. I don't know what anything is. I'm so not prepared for this. Foundation. Um, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I use the shade Medium 53 Neutral. But I found out something. She doesn't believe in vaccinations, which sucks. But, you know, each their own. I'm also mixing it with some of the Bondi Sands Finishing Glow Instant Luminous something rather. It's like fake tan. And basically, because this foundation's a little bit too light for me, mixing the tiniest bit of that in just to make it match my skin colour. My beauty blender is slightly wet. And I'm just going to dab that in. I went to get a mirror because I could not see what the hell I was doing. That's better. I think that's done. My mirror's so far away, I can't actually tell. I look a bit like a ghost. Okay, next. I'm going to be using Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I basically like to cover my bags with this. And my spots. And all the ugly. <laughs> Dabby dab dab. <laughs> I don't know who told me to wet the beauty blender, but... Ever since I found out that that's what you're supposed to do, it has changed my life. I am also going to do a YouTube video with cruelty-free makeup only. But just at the moment, I have so much makeup, I don't want to buy more and then not use the stuff that I already have. But now my eyes have been opened to that side of the industry that tests on animals and uses animal products and whatever. I'm not going to buy anything more that tests just because I don't agree with it. And when you look like an orange, you're ready. I can't find anything. Next. Thank you. No. Because it's evening, I want my foundation to stay on my face. I want it glued on there, you know? I'm gonna take the W7 Flawless Face Pressed Powder, just to make me a little less shiny. I literally have the shiniest face in the world, and I want it to be shiny in the places where I put the shine, not just shiny. This is something that I'll take out with me as well, and if I'm a sweaty, drunk mess, then I'll just be like one eye closed, like, Ugh. yours? Yours. I'm gonna brush my brows. This is a Lash and Brow Conditioning Serum. I just brush from the middle to the edge, like so. Lovely. I've got such a red nose. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. I had epiphany earlier. Epiphany is one of my favorite words because it sounds like Stephanie. So I came up with the word stepiphany. That is stepiphany earlier. Um, that Rudolph had a red nose because it was so bloody cold in December. So really, the other reindeer are the freaks because they don't have red noses. Anyway, back to the makeup. I'm gonna spray my face with some Hanover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Just because I want that foundation to stick real good. I'm gonna close my eyes. Oh, that was wet. 
these I'm obsessed with. So these are from Sainsbury's. How good? Boutique Beauty illuminating drops from Sainsbury's. I think all of the Sainsbury's makeup ranges from like two to six pounds, but these are unbelievable. They're all vegan and cruelty free and they give you that glow from the high heavens that you deserve. Because around this time of year, I like to glow as much as possible to remind my family that I am the star that should be on top of the Christmas tree. I literally want to be like a disco ball when I walk into that room later. It's weird getting ready on my own. Usually I love going to like a friend's house to get ready. I think that's why I decided to vlog because then it's like, I'm not getting ready by myself, you know? That has gone all over my face there. Literally one giant moon shining. And I put a little bit on this Cupid's bow bit just to try and make me look like I have a top lip because I don't. Look at that. You just wait and then boom, glow. <laughs> There is a palette by Charlotte Tilbury called the Dolce Vita. And I've just got a iconic brush that's just like a little bit slanted. You see that there? It's got a little slant there. And I'm just going to spray it again with the um, Too Faced primer just so that the, my eyebrows really glue on. Because you don't want an eyebrow dripping down your face halfway through the night, do you? And then I'm just going to take the brown colour here. And then I always start at the edge, end of my eyebrow. And I just kind of paint it on. Okay, wow, she's gone really dark this evening, but we are committing to it. Okay, one brow is definitely darker than the other. That is tragic. Do they even match? My eyebrows don't match. Oh, I, I know that your eyebrows should be sisters and not twins, but this is just silly. Okay. Okay. Every problem has a solution. That's all right. Oh, we fixed it. Lovely. So I'm going to be using the Naked Cherry Palette. Look at that. Oops. <coughs> <coughs> ah! Ugh. I'm fine. Anywho, how nice is that? I'm going to start with Young Love. No, I'm going to start with Devilish. And I'm just going to kind of start from the outer crease of my eye. Maybe if I move the mirror here. Ooh, chaff. From the outer edge. And then I just use the other end of this brush. So this brush actually comes in that Urban Decay palette. It's actually a really good brush. When it comes to eyeshadow, I kind of just put on eyeshadow until it looks half decent. And then I'm like, yeah, it'll do. And then go out. Now one eye looks like it's been punched in the face. Yay. Ooh, browns. Ooh, should have done browns instead of plums. Regret. But you live and you learn. Ooh, oh. Okay, we're going to use Hustle. And that looks rubbish. So we, we, we stop. Okay, I'm going to use Dark Heart from the Naked 3 palette. Oh. Oh. Transformation on a Tuesday. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. I definitely should have gone for like browns. Oh, I just wanted to use my new palette. I'm sweating. And this whole time I'm just thinking, what would Ariana Grande do? And do you know what she'd do? She'd have a makeup artist, so this is just silly. I'm taking a different brush, spraying it with the... Oh no, that looks so cool! Yes. Okay, that's not too wet. I'm just gonna dip that on my trousers. It's fine, I'm wearing pajamas. I'm gonna take this colour in the Dolce Vita palette. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay, Hans, if you're doing this at home, just keep going, persevere, believe in yourself, and you will get there. And your eyes will be distinctly average but you'll be confident with them. Next, I was going to stick on fake eyelashes, but I'm so terrible. Why is my voice getting worse? Agua. I need water. <clears throat> okay, cool. That didn't help. We'll carry on. This is definitely not cruelty free. I can only apologise. Just going to enhance our cheekbones. We're just going to basically draw on things. If you look at Ariana Grande's face, her face is so chiselled. It's fit. That's basically what we're going for. And I'm just gonna buff that into my cheeks, make sure there's no lines. And then, because you can never have too much highlighter, I'm gonna take a powdered highlighter and just put it in the same places I did earlier. Tragic story, my blusher brush broke. So this is just a little stumpy stump, like me. I'm not gonna tell you what this blusher is because it's not Quality free and that makes me sad. I don't even know where this mascara is from. Lola, makeup by purse. Oops. Cool, so I'm gonna do my lips 
Oh, I just burped. That's so gross. I'm going to do my lips last because I want to just crack on with the hair, which I'm so excited about. As you can see, my hair is straight because I bought a ponytail online. So the ponytail I'm using is from the Lauren Pope range. How sick is that? So it's real ethical hair. It was like £100, but if you wear it 100 times, then it's like a pound a wear, right? Basically, I just got this because if in doubt, if I've got great greasy hair, I usually French plait it and then I end up looking about 11 years old. So I was like, oh my God, if I had a ponytail, I can have like greasy hair if I don't have time to wash it and look glamorous still. So here we are. I'm really nervous. What if I can't do it? Then my whole look has failed. So I want it really slick. Here. Okay, so when you look like an egg and your face is so tight, you're ready. I'm just going to brush her. We should call her something. I'm gonna call her Sandra. In the ponytail, there's a little hook thing. Can you see that? So I'm gonna put it on top of my head. I'm gonna thread that through one of the hair bubbles and tuck it into the ponytail. There's a bit of Velcro that wraps around. And then you get the piece of hair. Oh yes. Oh my God, stop it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And then you wrap it around a couple times. Oh, how cool. I love that. Wrap it around as many times as it'll go. Then I'm gonna get some Kirby grips. Um, where are my Kirby grips? Hold fire. You can get them from Boots. They're a staple in every girl's life. You don't have them. Why? So I'm just gonna clip that in. That is all held in place now. I hope. I pray. We will see. I'm gonna slick back all of my sides. So I'm gonna use this Eco Gel, which is incredible. It's so good. And I've got a little comb. That drawer is a mess. Um, spread that on there into place. And then on top of that, just a bit of spray. A lot of spray. I'm just gonna be like this all night. Hey, I did not see you there. Oh my God, I love it. That's so extra. The colors that I use are these Babyliss, Babyliss, something or others. They're not expensive at all. Those little tongy thingies, but they're so good. And the good thing about this as well is you're not putting any heat on your actual hair, which is so good, because that's why I stopped cutting my hair, because I was just like, oh, it's just so bad for it. But now, I'm not used to having hair this long. My hair just does not grow. It gets to a certain point, and then it's like, nope, cut me, but I'm not growing anymore. So this is the answer to all my prayers. Wow. I was supposed to be ready like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Low story of my life. Oh my god, it looks so real. Almost done. Almost. So I've curled it all. And right now I look a bit like Georgia out of Love Island. You know, and she used to always have her high ponytail really, really curly. Which is a great look. Not insulting that, but um, it's not what we're after. I am going to take this. And I'm basically just going to hold the top of the ponytail. And brush downwards. I just want it to naturally get a little bit loose. Oh, wow. I'm hooked. I love this thing. I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but I literally love it. I am happy. I'm just going to spray loads of hairspray on it. Just going to finish with some lips. This is the, literally the last of a lip liner that is not vegan or cruelty free. When I say this is, must be about four years old. It's literally four years old. Oh shit, I missed my lip. Oh, the worst. Are you fixable? Yes. Okay, she is ripped. No, she's not. Not quite. This is my lipstick queen. This is called Saint Pinky Nude. I'm gonna finish with, this is by Aveda, a pure nourish mint lip treatment. It not only tastes amazing, it's like mint flavor, nourish mint. I get it. But it makes your lipstick stay on longer and it's really hydrating and stops your lips from drying. So that's the hair and makeup done. Then I'm obviously going to get changed into this. But to finish the look, I just found some of these earrings from Topshop. So Topshop earrings are great, but my ears are so high maintenance. I just get really irritated if I wear earrings that aren't real gold. <laughs> my earlobes weren't expensive. These will be fine, but I'm not going to lie to you. They're probably not going to last the whole night. Or if they do, my ears are going to be sore tomorrow. The things we do look good. Oh, it looks so full and long. Yes, I'm happy. It's really hard and you can't see what you're doing. And there we are. I feel like there's one more step that I want to do. There it is. Oh, shit, that's gone everywhere. Sorry, Mum. 
the last thing is the Boutique HD Illuminating Finishing Powder that I'm hoping is just going to make my makeup stay all in one place. Oh, that's gone everywhere. It's fine. It's for a good cause. It's for my face. Dab some of that on. And there we have my Ariana Grande inspired hair and makeup look with fake ponytail. I'm gonna go get ready now for the Christmas party, but thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. If there's anything else you wanna see on my YouTube, I'm new to this, I've literally just relaunched it, so please comment, let me know what you think. Sorry, there was a hair in my mouth. But thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.